I really don't see why anyone, everyone says these things just make you go crazy. I don't feel that at all. <laughs> Welcome to Foibles and Fights, the spookiest sword show that ever sorted. I'm your host, Mike Fadum, creator of the League of Swords. It's our second, and final, video of our spooky season set. And, you know, you know what I've always wanted to see and never seen? A friggin' chainsaw sword fight. Why has nobody ever done that? You know, people swinging chainsaws around like broadswords, sparks flying everywhere, motors running. That would be cool. Why hasn't anyone done that? Oh. They have? From 1986, it's The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. This sequel, 12 years after the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre terrified audiences, is a comedy for reasons. And in this scene, Dennis Hopper's character, Lefty, is out to bring justice to Leatherface's clan. And he's brought a chainsaw! But Leatherface has a chainsaw too! And so a fight ensues! Side note, I was super excited when somebody told me about this scene because I think the idea of a chainsaw sword fight is super cool. But practically, a chainsaw sword fight is an insanely silly idea. These things are so heavy! And swinging them around is almost impossible, especially when the motor's running. Now, I imagine the blades weren't turned on for this scene, but still, there's not a lot you can do with these. So I understand the fight being a little... limited. But while that may be true, there is more that you can do than this. And this. And this. The number of times in this fight that somebody gingerly holds out a chainsaw so somebody else can gingerly whack it with their chainsaw and then not do anything to follow up is... is too damn high! In their defense, there's also, of course, a uh, crossed swords, a uh, jump, a head swipe. You know, all the things that I teach in my intro to stage combat class. I put the chainsaw down. It was too heavy. Anyway, the fight ends when Leatherface lifts up his, his chainsaw in the dramatic way and gets stabbed right in the gut in a way that's far too violent to show and not get me demonetized. But then, Dennis Hopper shows that he's brought along two smaller chainsaws! <laughs> Dear God. Oh. And of course, you can't do anything at all with those. They're tiny and so heavy. And so he's just flailing at the camera, and Leatherface is just flailing at the camera. And then Leatherface gets taken out by a Three Stooges gag, and a grenade goes off, and well... So what could you do better? Well... I would start by not having them use these. Build them some prop chainsaws. Make them out of balsa wood. Give them aluminum blades. Then the uh, actors can look like they're actually swinging something around that isn't going to explode out of their hands in two seconds. Sure, Lefty's supposed to be a regular guy, but Leatherface is a seasoned killer who uses chainsaws all the time. He should have some familiarity with how they work. He dances with one in the first movie. Heck, if you're worried about the re realism, you can stick some dry ice in where the motor would be so they're smoking correctly. It would be fairly easy. And if you can't, the actors can't do the kind of sword fight that would look interesting on camera, get in some stunt doubles who can. One of your people is in a mask. It's okay. Because even in your dark comedy, I need to believe that somebody's in danger of dying or I won't be invested in this sword fight at all. And I don't. This whole thing is so patently ridiculous that I'm never worried for Lefty or Leatherface even once. Maybe I'll put my money where my mouth is and do it myself. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me try to put together a chainsaw fight with some friends that looks a little bit more exciting and interesting than this. Uh, that's your homework for this week, in fact. Let me know if you want to see that. Until next week, remember, like, subscribe, hit that bell, Sign up for the mailing list so that you can get notified as soon as these videos launch. And as always, stick them with the... the... rounded end?